pass the macaroon to Spencer. Thanks. Oh, human. Human alert. Do you want me to repel her? Uh, she's just passing through. She wants to use the toilet. Oh, I'd uh, give it a minute if I were you. Doctor, it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. <laughs> hey, we got there. How is that possible? How do you do that? Well, first, you have to imagine a very big box fitting inside a very small box. Okay. Then, you have to make one. It's the second part people normally get stuck on. It was here for ages before it did anything. If it had work to do, why would it lie around in a puddle? I don't know, maybe it's a student. Oh, <laughs> banter. Oh, it's good, this. Hmm. You'll go again. Can I ask you a personal question? No. Can I anyway? Yes. Are you from space? No, of course not. Nobody's from space. I'm from a planet like everybody else. I don't like that! <laughs> You're running interference. Can you do that? Can I say no, sir? No. Yes, then. Thank you. But no, really. Where are we? Well, uh, we're basically in the middle of a war. No, but well, it's a war zone. And this is just your basic skirmish. And it's not as bad as it sounds, I promise you. Who's that? Excuse me. Just what is the TARDIS doing down here? I'm over 2,000 years old. I don't always want to take the stairs. There's your tea. I'll put a bit of coffee in it as well, just to give it some flavour. See? It's much better when you stick to your oath. Oh, sir, no. This is unacceptable. This is beyond unacceptable. This is naughty. Oh, look, Bill, it's not dull. What a lovely surprise. I thought I sent you to Birmingham for a packet of crisps. Yeah, I saw through your cunning ruse. Yes, well, if you will go thinking for yourself, what do you want? I was given strict instructions to keep you at the university. Who am I? You! Well, you're not doing a very good job, are you? I'll overlook it this once. Do you know what this is? If it's not crisps, you're sacked. None of that shuk shuk nonsense. Space doors are supposed to go shuk shuk. Not in. Are you going to be like this all day? Yeah, till you're back where you should be. <laughs> Calm down, it's empty. And you couldn't just tell us? Are you trying to scare us? I'm maxing out your adrenaline. Fear keeps you fast. Fast is good. Do people ever hit you? Well, only when I'm talking. What happens if I throw up in my helmet? Colour and smells. Don't throw up in the helmet, then. Check. <laughs> That's all. Doctor, here's a tip. When I'm on a date, when that rare and special thing happens in my real life, do not, do not, under any circumstances, put the Pope in my bedroom. OK. Now I know. Air cleared. Shall I tell you the real reason? No. Because the moment you tell Bill, it becomes real. And then, you might actually have to deal with it. Good point. Well made. Definitely not telling her now. You're an idiot. Everyone knows that. Are you trying to get rid of us? Why? Because you're sending us into the dark after a man with a gun. Ah, well, I thought of that. Thank you. I'll do make sure that you walk in front of Bill. Oh, great. OK, Bill. Miss Potts? I'm the only person you've ever met or will ever meet who is officially licensed to kick the doctor's ass. I will happily do the same to you in the event that you do not align yourself with any instructions I have issued which I personally judge to be in the best interests of your safety and survival. OK, Bill? OK. Good out. The UN called. They want you in Termezistan immediately. Tell them no. I wouldn't take no for an answer. Last I heard, you were on a date with Penny. What happened? Ah, uh, the uh, United Nations Secretary General. Awesome. No, that wasn't a metaphor. Good, because I really wasn't following it. How did you do that? What is that thing? Uh, it's not dull. It's not my fault. Back to the TARDIS. This place is toxic. I'm not human. Well, you're human enough. I got your lungs cheap. Oh, now he tells me. Oh, it was partly his idea. Oh, my. 
God, I am going to beat no, this no, no, shit no, no, in me. No, 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 come on, come on, come on. We've got the band back together again. Why have you got a woman locked in a vault? Because even I think that's weird and I've been attacked by a puddle. Fire. There's got to be oxygen. Wait, 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 let's not be rash. Okay. I'll go first. What are you doing? Fire oxygen. Basic physics, isn't it? Could have been basic death. It's a bit damp, though, isn't it? It's Scotland. It's supposed to be damp. What could do that? Complete and total absence of any kind of sunlight. Death by Scotland. Um, won't take me a jiffy to make. What are you doing? I'm ingratiating myself. Stop it, it's nauseating. It's called charm. I'm against it. I'm against charm. Yeah, we all know that. Hello. <coughs> no, no, no doll. Yeah, it's probably a bit tricky for you, that, isn't it? Sir, I must protest in the strongest, most upset terms possible. Don't make me go squeaky voiced. Who are you? Well. I am that mysterious adventurer in all of time and space known only as Doctor Who. And these are my disposables, exposition and comic relief. We're not functions. Darling, those are genders. Now, Joel agreed. No, I didn't. You did in my head, which is good enough for me. You're not sending me up there to babysit a load of smelly humans. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> this is me we're talking about? Me? You know what I was like? There's more than three people in a room, I start a black market. Send me with them, I'll be selling their own spaceship back to them once a week. Please, I would rather stay down here and explode. I'm gonna name a town after you. A really rubbish one. Or I'm counting on it. And probably a pig. Young lady, you're coming with me. No arguments. May I remind you, I'm still empowered to kick your ass. You'd have to go back down there to that hospital and find it then. I know what you're thinking. Where is he? Hello, sir. When you're already dying, you're entitled to think that your day couldn't get any worse, but here you are. And both of you are here. How does that work? We can be everyone. We are everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's good, this, isn't it? Now I'm all made of glass, not just my nipples. Yeah, though they got my hair a bit wrong, though, didn't they? You don't have any hair. I have invisible hair. <laughs> 